hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome do stick around we've been doing our december daily now every day and we're up to the 29th i can't believe it didn't time fly when you're having fun so we've got the first little bits of snow and frost this evening which is handy because <laughs> not really done much else to journal about <laughs> so i thought we'll have like a winter wondery type um page so i've dug around and in my little bits of scraps i found this felt that has got lovely lovely snowflakes on and so i thought i'll just neaten it up a bit and make a little pocket with this so i'm going to use the pinking shears and i'm going to try and cut in a straight line <laughs> right it's a more manageable size now and that is so on the wonk but i'm sure we can we can sort it out right. let's see how wide of so i need about that much off there and let's see oh it's not too terrible i might have to <laughs> straighten out that bit but that can be a little pocket let's sort that side out <laughs> it's going to get smaller and smaller isn't it i might even have to well i could have a long thin tag couldn't i um I did let's see maybe we'll use <laughs> maybe I'll just use that as decoration or something all right let's try with this bit because it'd be handy if I can get it the width of the page and then our tag hasn't got to be like a matchstick right that's a little bit better let's come over i can straighten it out once i've got the the bulk out of the way right let's get that crease out the way because i'm sure that's never going to lay flat no matter how much fabric tack i put on it right that's better that's a better um a better fit i'm just gonna try and even that up a little bit that's it that's perfect fit there like that i'm not going to stick it on yet though and i'll keep this bit for something else what i wanted to do is have a little tab where i can put a snowflake charm so let's see right i've got some snowflakes on here i thought this same paper i'm going to make my tag out of so i'll back it but I'm just going to cut a bit off and make a little tab for, um, yeah, that way. Make a little tab to stick on the side of the page um, to add a little charm from. So, I've done bone folder, it is. Nice and flat. Right, and I need my envelope punch board. Right, let's pop that to one side a sec because I'm not ready for it. I need, I'm going up against that bit there to get a nice tab shape like that. And Somewhere I've got there we are weathered wood. I'll just swap what's it and put that back on whatever it was on, Victorian velvet. That's it. And yeah, just go around the edges a bit. So I hope everyone is well. I was thinking 
just a little while ago. I'm at a complete loss what I was going to do today. We took down the tree, but um, oh, I'm saying we. I didn't really. It was the kids. Um, we always we don't leave it up for like the 12 days of Christmas because we have my granddaughter's birthday not that I'm going to see her on New Year's Eve and then it's my daughter's birthday on the 6th and so we always take the tree down so that for my granddaughter it seems like that it is her birthday and not just Christmas you know so yeah we um we do that so yeah it was took down today and the house is like more back to normal but um yeah but i didn't really have a play in that and then my daughter done all the housework but um yeah but i was thinking i'm at a right loss what am i going to do and then yeah we've had the first flurries of snow more is predicted in the night and i thought we'll have a bit of a winter wonder page Right, I don't know what went on. Oh, sorry, that's my back there. <laughs> Something just happened. Um, I had to pause because of um, the kids needing to come out here to the kitchen. And, um, yeah. And then I've had to go upstairs because um, my camera case with the spare batteries is up there because for some reason, only known to this camera, <laughs> All of a sudden it started just, I was switching on it, switching it straight back off. Might be that the battery run out, but it don't normally do that. It normally shuts completely down if the battery's run out. So, I don't know, but I've put another one in and it's fine. Right, what do we need? We need these. And I'm going to have a nice little snowflake. So, we need them. And is that going to be big enough? Yeah. Oh. And I've just had a snowflake. Hmm. Well, I'll have to grab another one. Oh, sorry. I um, dropped the jump ring. Come on. That's it. And, um,. Yeah, I've got plenty of snowflake in here. Here we are. I've got a nice size one there. Um, oh. oh, let's put the put the little thing on first. A little what would you call it? What did I call it just now? <laughs> A little shape thing. I've forgotten. It's this fibro brain. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> it's ridiculous. But yeah, that's that. So I'll get rid of the tools because we do not need them. And um, what I was thinking, I want some nice trim going along here, but I'm. Um, thinking if I stick that on I can do the trim kind of going round this bit that I've got and what what they're called but yeah I'm gonna do that and I've got a nice bit of white lace that will look nicely along there so we get some blue on here tab a little tab that was the word I was looking for just a simple little word it's, well, it's what I call them anyway, a little tab. But yeah, my brain completely forgot <laughs> that that's what they are. <laughs> oh, Wally. Right. Here we go. Oh, dear. Sorry, I just had to stop. That was my daughter watching EastEnders on her phone. <laughs> Walking through without a care in the world, not realising that I'm filming. So, yeah. I um I quickly paused and yeah I thought we'd go down and maybe round we'll see or even just like a little bump we'll see let's get the first bit stuck on anyway 
and if I go like that, or maybe under the, no, right, yeah, we just have a little bump, I think, oh, here comes someone else, I will get this filmed tonight, hopefully, but yeah, right, sorry, I'm getting all hot and bothered, because every time I switch the camera on, someone else needs something, um, and it ain't their fault, but yeah, it's, um, I'm never going to get this filmed, I'm going to, I'll probably still be here tomorrow morning when we're knee deep in snow, <laughs> oh, but yeah, so, I thought this, we'll have this lovely snowflakes pocket, and then, um, what we did at the beginning of the journal, when um, I used the little diamantes to look like snowflakes, I'm going to do that at the top of the page, I think. I'm just getting the glue on there. Right. Oh, and see how that looks like that. Pretty little pocket. Right, so now I need another bit. Yes, that won't fit. Let's try and slim this down a little tad. Right, let's see if that will fit. It's got a fit in it. Yeah, that's a perfect fit. Right. I've got a bit of coffee dyed paper and we need a bit of glue. Oh um, and so yeah, hopefully there won't be so much snow that it's all disruptive. And that, not that I've got to do anything to go anywhere, I'm just thinking of other people. <laughs> For me personally, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Can't do nothing, I'll go nowhere. So, yeah, it really don't matter at all. We don't need no shopping because it's Christmas and there's far too much food still in the house. If we just eat our way out. <laughs> I'm sure we'd be fine for a good old while yet. So, yeah, I don't know how much snow is going to come in the night. But it does make everything look lovely. Even when the, you live on the worst places. Like big council estate and that, where I lived before, it's right rough. But, when it snowed, winter wonderland, the same as everywhere else. It just makes everywhere look beautiful, don't it? which that is one of the joys of snow and I used to love it when my kids was little and I wasn't ill like I am now and we'd go and we'd go sledging and that and making big snowman and um, yeah pelting down the hill over a big park where I lived where the, when the snow was really good and the lakes had to be frozen and that and there's a big hill over there known um, by all the kids around here as, well not around here where I am now, where I was before it was known as deaf, deaf ear <laughs> like deaf, like dying, not deaf funny and I think, yeah deaf hill I should say, yeah and um, when it snowed, everyone would just go over that park and loads of kids and their parents and that would go to Death Hill and there'd be people sliding down there. We had like the more traditional means, like little sledges for my kids. Some people didn't have that, right? And remembering that it was quite a rough area. Some people had like the lid to their sand pit or the bin lid, the dustbin lid and things. Um, paddling poles and one time when we was over there there was a family sledging down Death Hill on a car bonnet <laughs> they had a 
bonnet off of her car and it took it that's the hood to I think that's what they call it and it well anyway yeah and they had that I was sliding down on that my kids was like whoa mum look at that and I was like seriously don't even think about asking that man if you can have a go because that's just an accident waiting to happen that is a big metal car bonnet and they're sliding down an hill that's so steep it's known as death hill <laughs> but yeah funny times the kids used to love it and my little dog jasper he'd love it he'd run on the lake because when i used to take him for walks over there every day we'd walk the kids to school and on the walk back we used to walk through that park and he'd run and launch himself and his legs would be like splayed out like that either side of him <laughs> and he'd launch himself right into the lake and have a swim and that and scare the ducks but um on the winter if it was really bad and frozen he'd run out onto the ice and like i'd try and call him back because i was always worried he'd tread on like a thin bit and fall through but um no he, he was just a daredevil and he'd just the minute he see it he'd love it he'd run and he'd slide and just he enjoyed it as much as the children <laughs> right so i want to keep this quite simple but i'm thinking i want to give it something so i had a look through my stencils and i know these are flowers and not snowflakes but i just thought if i just went over it with a bit of silver gilders polish oh if i can open it oh that's it then it might give the illusion of snow even though it's not proper snow <laughs> you know what i mean right if i can just get some on the sponge without going mad. Right. And yeah, I'll try to keep it still. And we don't want it on too thick either. But just to like a little bit of shimmer, you know. It might just look like snow oh there we are just the odd little bit of shimmer it'll um well don't want to smudge it oh, i like that just catches the light in certain angles right i'll leave that to dry over there oh and I'll just pop this out the way so we don't get all, it all over us. Well, that shouldn't take at all long to dry. So in the meantime, we can be adding our little diamonds to our page, our background, just to look a little bit like snow. And I'm going to do it how I've done before and blob the glue and then pick up. I won't need as many as that, but... Blob the glue and then pick up the little diamond E to put on. So I want ones that are up the right way. Oh! And where's my little forceps? Here we are. Right, and it's Operation Snowflake. <laughs> With my forceps. Right, come on. Oh, oh, I dropped it and it went upside down. That's it. We just want it as simple as that. Oh. That's it. And, yeah, I don't need that many. That one. Like that. But. I do think they look really pretty. I might put a couple on the tag as well. But I know I've already stenciled on it. But I'll see what it looks like when it's dry. 
whether one or two could zhuzh it up a little bit. Oh! Let's see, I'm looking at it side on. Um, right, where have I got any? Have one there. Oh, that bit of glue went a bit weird. And pop that there. I need one over here. Oh, that one didn't. Oh, that one don't want me to pick it up. That's it. Right, I like that. And I'll just scoop the rest of these back up and pop them in here. Oh, one run away. I felt that hit me toe. <laughs> right, so I've got me thing. Is that dry? Yeah, yes, perfect. They do dry really quickly. Right, a lot of my stuff is still upstairs because I took out my boxes in the Calax unit behind me um, and took them upstairs and we put like Christmas sweets and things like that in them and ornaments. So a lot of my stuff's still upstairs and... I was lucky enough to find a silver eyelet just now, um, but these are the only ones down here, and I know it looks a little bit out of place on there, it's not as good as a silver one, but I'm going to put a bit of fluff on that through the top, so I don't think you'll see it, so I'm not too worried about it. Right, I'm going to have a couple of bits of this. And then right, poke them through. Oh. And then I'm going to get some fluffy bits. And I'll just put that like that. Pop it through there. And pull it down a bit so that I can link that through and fasten it like that right and yeah I come up like that sort of gather it up around the top so it's all fluffy like icicles are just glistening with the first little bits of frost like that yep I'm happy with that so where are we I'll pop that in there and yeah I think there's plenty of room for me to write on there I don't think I'm going to do anything else we've got a nice winter wonder page I do apologise because I did say yesterday that I was going to try and get a normal video out but, like, when you've got kids around and they're playing and whatnot, Olivia was doing stuff at my desk for mo most of the day, and I really didn't want to disturb what she was doing. So, um, yeah, I didn't manage to get a different film out. I'll, I'm going to wait until all my icicles or my snowflakes are dry, because I just smudged that one. And, yeah, I've got a journal on the back anyway, so I'll write that in a minute. But, yeah, I didn't get to do, um, to film earlier. And it's late now, because I do this always at the end of the day, so that if I have got stuff to tell, <laughs> I can journal about it and, like, what's gone on, which I do every single day. I've always, they're, I, they're not left blank. <laughs> I do sit and write after I switch off the camera every single day. So, um, yeah, none of it's left blank. But, um, so I really ain't got time to film this. 
sit and journal and then film a normal film. But we've only got two more days of January left and then it'll be business as usual and all back to our normal stuff. But I've really enjoyed doing this and I've really appreciated you all sticking with me as we've gone on this little journey through December. So, I shall see you tomorrow for the, pen, is it the penultimate, is the one that's the day before? Yeah. Or for New Year's Eve Eve tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you for that. So thank you very much. I love you all loads. I hope you've all had a wonderful December. And now it's coming to a close and we're coming up for a brand new year. And so, yeah, I wish everyone all the very best of health and happiness. So, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye for now.